guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and welcome to my pageant prep vlog. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and currently I hold the title of USA National Miss Alabama and I am heading to Hollywood, Florida tomorrow morning. As you can see behind me, I am in my boyfriend's room. I am packing up everything, trying to pull everything out. I just moved out of my college apartment, so this is kind of like my in-between and that's why I am here. But this video is going to be all about how I prepped for my national pageant. By the time you're watching this, I am already done at USA National Miss and I'm really excited to bring you along for that. If you hear anything, that's my cat Elle just like in the back running around. I really love filming this video because it allows me to film so, so much throughout the past several months, just like the preparation that really goes into pageantry. And I feel like a lot of people don't show all of it, which I'm not showing you like every single bit of it, but a big chunk of it I'm showing you. You're going to be able to see me create my gown, go through alterations, picking out wardrobe, pageant headshots, everything like that. In October of 2022, I got crowned as the USA National Miss Alabama and Jasper and it was absolutely amazing. So by winning that title, that means that I get to go to nationals, which is in Hollywood, Florida and get to meet and have fellowship and create memories with all the other national delegates. This video is going to be kind of like all over the place. I started filming this fully like in February. That's really when I started like crunching down on filming things for y'all. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get going and let me show you a little bit of how I prepped for USA National Miss. That you got a lot of heartbreak history, but I'm Good morning and happy Monday. I am flying to New York and back today. Literally, I am just flying there for a meeting that I will tell you a little bit more about later on. But right now I'm in the hotel. I just got fully ready and put on like a cute little outfit. This is a very important meeting and kind of reason why I'm flying to New York because I wanted to put myself together. But come with me. It is now like 4.15 in the morning. I got up at 3.30 to start getting ready. I'm about to be putting on my jacket, which is right here. And we're about to be heading out to the airport. Thankfully, I stayed in Atlanta overnight. So I'm right next to the airport. So let's go ahead and head on to our flight. my dress today from flirt pageant and i'm here in georgia this is who i worked with to go to giovanni in new york city i vlogged all of that separately so if you want that full vlog i'll still put some of it in here for you but that is who i flew to new york with for giovanni and to custom design this dress so we're going to go see it for the first time ever because i've never seen it like we just like put pieces together so let's go pick it up and we're also picking up one of my cocktail dresses for one of the parties so let's go ahead and go inside. We've all got things to outrun when moments come and then I fall right into love. I'm coming back to what I know. I hold it in my arms. I sense of where I belong. I'm coming back to love. I know you won't let go. And I've got a lot to lose. Only Of videos at night. Every other one of like my pageant prepping vlogs, I'm always vlogging at night. I'm finally coming to terms that I'm a night owl. Like I'm finally being okay with it after 25 years. Anyways, I just got done with pageant coaching today and normally when it's a few months away from the pageant, I start putting together my slideshow of like my outfits and everything. And normally I'll put like my shoes, my dress or like outfit accessories. And I've never done this before, but I'm also putting like hairstyle ideas. So I went ahead and planned out four little nights. I'm going to show you 
the ideas. Okay, so this is Club UNM, and I really like this hairstyle with like little jewels on it. Then we got the little gala dinner, and I bought like this little um hair piece on Amazon. Then this is the Derby Party, and this is the Pageant in Paradise. So these items that I already did, those are just for like the little parties we have. I think that's all the parties. I think we have four parties. So I went ahead and did that tonight. First drink of water for days, sun coming out of the storm. And Hello, it is June. What is the day today? 9th. And I am going to like my little pageant send-off party and like dress rehearsal. So I actually just stopped to get a Starbucks, of course. I'm actually picking up Erica. She's actually right in front of me right now. We are moving her car to Target and I'm just going to be driving us to Hoover, Alabama, which is like an hour and a half away. And we're just gonna have like a little send off party and just like show um, like our state director our walks, I think. I think she like wants to make sure like what we're doing is good. But anyways, welcome. Erica will be in the car shortly and we're heading out for a send off party. We are like exactly, I think a month away from like crowning the next national queen so that means like it's a month away from finals night which is insane <laughs> Party. It was fun. It was cute. It was cute. <laughs> um, they have lunch at this pizza place, but I actually have an appointment to get to, so we are heading out. But we did stop for a little bit, and we got bunches of gifts. No, seriously, it's like Christmas. <laughs> it literally was like Christmas. Like, There's like the whole back of the car is just filled with different gifts. gifts. And like, I don't think we've even been able to enjoy or look at all of it. No, there's a lot of cute stuff though. There was like a little, you know, those like stony clover like patch like bags. That was cute. Mm -hmm. And then, oh my gosh, the little teddy bear with the crown. The teddy bear with the crown. That was given to us by like our little, is she the junior princess? I think she is the junior the princess. The junior princess. It's like a little teddy bear with like a little crown. Um, like a little blanket, which I think would be nice for like hair and makeup no, yeah. or like rehearsals or anything to have like a blanket. It's cute too. And mine's yellow. Wait, what color is yours? Mine's blue. Yellow's my favorite color, so that's perfect. So it's so like cute, but we're heading out, but we had a fun little rehearsal. We did. It was cute. It was fun. <laughs> It's me again with another pageant prep moment. Welcome to my living room where I am moving out. And I decided that I'm going to do my first workout of the pageant prep time. Um, and it's because I feel good. I just got off of my period and this should be my last period. Like my next period should be like after the pageant. And my period just like takes me out, y'all. It just like takes me out. So I'm putting on a little Blogilates little thing and i'm just going to do some at-home workouts i haven't been able to make i haven't been able to make my workout classes at true 40 lately just because my schedule has just been crazy so we're going to do some at-home workouts instead so you're going to sit down here and watch me do some workouts <laughs> Way, way too small for me. 
I thought the measurements were right and either my measurements were wrong or the measurements they gave me were wrong because this dress did not fit like at all it was really bad um, and so I went to a seamstress to try and get it fixed and my original thought was turn the dress into like a high low top and then make white pants to go underneath it for my fun fashion fun fashion it, I don't even know how to like describe it or maybe it's called runway at UNM I'm not too sure but it basically it isn't a gown but it's like something you would see like on a runway a lot of people have like over skirts high low things fringe feathers like it's really really fun so I'm going to pick that up today and I'm actually really stressed out because I don't know if it's going to fit and if it's even going to be exactly what I want when I left the seamstresses area place what she was describing to me it didn't make sense on what this dress is going to look like so I don't even know what I am getting so I have been on the lookout for like an a spare fun fashion because if this doesn't work if it doesn't fit if it looks weird I can't be just like naked up on the stage so we're going to pick that up today and we're also on the way to pageant coaching so obviously my pageant coach is in Atlanta Georgia so I'm driving there right now I have about two and a half hours left I've been in the car for probably like an hour and a half driving um, I'm gonna try and film a little bit more with her today I'm sure she doesn't mind I just never think to like bring out my camera and just like sit it up so I'm going to go ahead and set that up today for y'all for you to be there but I'm also in a slight crisis so I went on Instagram last night and I saw this beautiful gown from Sherry Hill and tell me why I love this dress more than anything else I have ever bought in my life and I want the dress so bad like I don't think I fell in love with this dress I haven't even tried it on I don't even know if I'm gonna like it but I messaged someone who I thought would have it and he had just sold it he had just sold it to someone so we're trying to see how quickly he can get it but I would need it like within the next like three to four days and I don't think that's possible but I fell head over heels in love with this dress and I love it better than anything else I own for this pageant but anyways welcome to Monday we have one more Monday after this before we're at the pageant coaching is now done I just grabbed myself a starby and we are pulling into my seamstress's neighborhood I have never used her before so I think that's why I'm kind of like nervous this might be completely different than what I have in my head I didn't get a sketch I didn't get anything so I'm kind of nervous but I will like film me putting it on for the first time uh, the dress that I'm head over heels in love with we can't get it in time because it's like a it's a couture piece from Sherry Hill and it's like it, it just won't get here in time so so if this doesn't work, I'll have to go tomorrow and try and find something that will work, which is going to be kind of expensive. I'm like so nervous. I'm so nervous. But here we go. We're pulling up. I need a sip of espresso for my anxiety. Like that's gonna help anything. Okay, let's go inside. This will be done. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
Okay, just got done. And at first, I was skeptical. I'm not gonna lie. Just because of what I had envisioned, it wasn't that. This lady has the most prettiest hydrangeas across the street, but it actually is kind of very different and very cool, which is exactly what I was wanting. I didn't want like the cookie cutter, like typical fun fashion. So I actually really like it. She is going to put the lace in the front because it's a very high slit. And of course I wore like black underwear, so dumb. Um, but she gave me a good tip on what to wear underneath it because it's completely completely see-through and we can't be having that happen. It turned out good. I pick it up next um, week from today is when I pick it up and I'll pick it up before pageant coaching. So I'll see you again when we get it and it's good. But now we're driving back home, three and a half hours back home. <laughs> So yeah, it's getting so close. Also, pageant coaching went really well. I had her film, obviously, a little bit for y'all because I don't show a lot of pageant coaching. I'll try and do a little bit more next week too. But it's just getting so surreal, so close. Oh, I'm just so excited. Okay, I just made it to the clothes tree in Birmingham, Alabama, and I'm going to see if I can find a backup fun fashion because I'm still really nervous about mine. It's so skin tight, so if I'm bloated at all, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it zipped. Um, and also, it's just, I I don't know if it's just too much. I'm having my doubts, so I'm going in here to see if I can find an extra fun fashion. I'm also looking for gown earrings and fun fashion earrings. And I'm thinking even if I find just like a cocktail dress, I will get it because even if I don't use it for fun fashion, I will probably use it at some point in my life and in pageants anyways, because we need like all these different costs, not costumes, but like dresses for different events and things. Um, I'm sorry. I was just going to get a Starbucks to reward myself after getting this dress and they're closed due to construction. We always want to put a camera It's just the way. The guess would just come in the mail. My opening number outfit. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. The shoes also came probably like two weeks ago. I got the shoes really, really early. And the shoes, I'm kind of doubtful at first. I'm kind of, it, it's sketching me out because the shoes do not look like they're going to match dress. But now that I see the dress, it looks like it might. So we're going to try on the dress. It is sponsored by Ashley Loren. And so they sent a little t-shirt. This is the t-shirt looks like. It's like definitely like Barbie inspired. And then they're having a t-shirt styling contest at Nationals. So I need to figure out how I want to style it and like dress it up. And then if you are a winner, you receive like an Ashley Lauren cocktail dress. And then this is going to be so helpful. They also sent a bag. So everyone got like their opening number dress, their shirt, and then this bag. I'm actually current, obviously, my apartment is like messed up right now. I am packing up for UNM right now, so this is gonna be perfect to put some things in for some traveling. Okay, this is the opening number outfit with the little shoes. Honestly, the shoes, I've been proven wrong. The shoes actually look really good. This is a little bit too big, so I'm going to see if I can exchange it. What they posted today on like our like little Facebook page or whatever is if you got a size too big or too small, you can like comment the size you need and the size that you have, and hopefully you can find someone to like exchange it with because like the top obviously is like really, really big. And then right here just needs a little bit of tightening up. So I just need the next size down, but I'm really excited. We also got our opening number dance probably like two or three days ago it's just like a little section so i'm really really excited oh yeah and then look at this like little detail on the shoulder so so cute we are ready for you and him we're going to be walking oh these are like these shoes are really really slick i need to like go outside with them but we're going to be walking and talking hi okay so you're kind of wiggly and wobbly because you're on my phone right now but um I still don't have my gown back from my alterations woman. So I had to buy a new gown because I didn't I didn't want worst case scenario to happen and she not have it ready and me not be able to even have a dress. So my new gown just got delivered to my pageant coach's house. So I think once my other gown comes in, if I ever hear back and I'm able to like get it, which I'm sure it will, like I'm 
I'm having hope. I'm planning on having just like a full photo shoot with it and being able to like still showcase it and have it because it's such a beautiful gown and I worked with Flirt and it was gonna be so precious, but I had to, I could not be naked on stage. I had no other option. So um, I have my other gown back here and she's beautiful, she's stunning, but now we're having to go get alterations. It is the Monday before I leave. So I leave on Saturday and it's Monday. I'm having to go to my pageant coaches, like her own seamstresses people. Am I in a turn only lane? Oh no. And they're going to be getting it done within the next like two days. So my pageant coach can bring it to nationals. But I'm gonna try and get a little video of it for you so you can see it. dropped off my dress you know we can only do the best we can do you know also if you're wheezy don't look at this but literally my nail split in half today and it hurts so bad i have to get them redone for the pageant anyways but do you see that hello to all today is another little prep day and i'm getting my hair done so i think the last time i went to the hair salon was like eight nine weeks ago for my color and so my color is just really gross it needs some like refreshing my hair is also just so dead like i really just need like a big moisture treatment on it and i've also had these extensions for i do get extensions by the way these extensions have been in since January and it's almost the beginning of July. So I mean, it's been what, six months? Normally I get new extensions like twice a year. Like every six months I'll get them done. But these are like so, so dead because of the amount of photo shoots and just like heat has that has been on this hair and it's like bleached. So anyways, it's time to get new extensions for this pageant and I'm so excited. They're always just so silky and so smooth. And then obviously I'm getting like the, what do I get? A full highlight or something? I don't really know what I get, but I'm going to see my girls, Lauren, she does my extensions, and then Caitlin does my color. And this is the last time I'm probably going to see them, which is so upsetting because they're in my college town, and I, but I'm like still scared to like go to another hairdresser. Anyways, today we are getting fresh locks, fresh hair. I'm ready to be dolled up and feel like the main character because extensions always just make me feel like the it girl. If you get extensions, you know, but this is not it. Also, I've been moving nonstop, and so my hair is just like greasy, and I'm like, they best not be judging me for my greasy hair that they're about to be all up in. All right, we just made it to Vibe. Going to go ahead and walk on in and see my girls. Lost some heart trying to get on my feet. Caught in the madness, I feel you somehow. Don't let me go, I need you right now I wanna be next to you, you wanna be next to me Holding our paper hearts, fading our broken dreams I wanna be next to you, you wanna be next to me Holding our paper hearts, fading our broken dreams I wanna be next to And this is what my nails look like right now. This one broke. Obviously, I showed you a little bit earlier, and so it hurts really bad. Um, but I have my spray tan tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So I need to go ahead and get my nails done. Um, I'm going to get bubble bath on my nails and get them shortened. And then I'm also going to do like a gel fridge tip on my toes. look 
like they're very natural i didn't get any tips put on them either just because i wanted them to be really short i don't know if i told you when i got in the car all this stuff is because i just moved out of my apartment like for real for all this time like i'm completely out now it's kind of sad Ugh, i don't want to talk about it but i did get the french tip on my toes i do like to get gel on my toes just because i don't want it to chip like i don't want to have to bring like nail polish or anything with me which i guess is kind of like a risk like anything could happen but they're just like little baby pink nails they're just so pretty and they just like flow with everything i don't know why i don't get this more often like this is just so natural and so pretty hi welcome back we are on the way to my spray tan i'm currently in will's <laughs> in will's jeep and everything behind me is everything i had hanging up in my closet so just don't mind that but i'm going to solera boutique and tanning they are in my hometown and she's always who i go to and trust when i'm in my hometown she just does the best and i just feel my best afterwards so we're just driving there this morning i leave for the pageant tomorrow morning um so today is like the last day of me filming the prep vlog after this we're going to go to starbucks and then we're also going to get some like last minute things for packing and just things i need oh in general So good. She always does such a great job. I'm a tan. How do I get into Will's car? I hope you enjoyed watching how I prep for UNM. If you like this video, keep your eye out for the rest of the videos this week. Thursday's upload is going to be me packing and flying to Hollywood, Florida. And then Saturday, it will be my actual pageant vlog of the pageant week. I love pageant content just like in general. I obviously love being at the pageant and getting to meet new people, working with my coach and all that stuff. But I really, really love just filming it because I love going back and watching it. Like I normally don't go back and watch my videos a lot of the time like or at least right now I don't but I have gone back and watched my pageant content just because it's so much fun and I just make so many memories so I hope you enjoyed this video if you've made it to this part of the video go ahead and comment down the crown emoji if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you want to join the family you can click that subscribe button also I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in the next video bye